We've been speculating what this crystal is for nearly a year at this point, we have seen it in person, but a senior artist from Blizzard just dropped some behind the scenes artwork that are without a doubt a big reveal of what is going to happen soon. Early artwork looks so much like an Aru or a Naru ship, but then we have these weird shapes and forms that really makes it like something from Draenor and there is even a gravitational pull that the crystal has creating clouds around it. However, the most interesting art bit is this mysterious little shot of giant stairs leading directly from the Arati church into the crystal itself, meaning something big is going to happen here very likely around this Arati window. So I would say these are random concepts, but artists don't just draw randomly, they get directions from the lore team and they must already know something we are about to learn. So literally what even is this crystal? With the war within out, the best way to optimize your game is with the trade skill master add-on. It's for everyone, whether you just want to make gold or you're flipping millions. It can help you manage your auctions, post items in bulk, find the best deals. It can help your professions by helping you see what's the most profitable thing to craft. Best of all, TSM now has a new premium package that can put you on a whole other level with a vast database that will help you make informed decisions on what to buy and when to sell. So make sure to click the link in the description and get 15% off your first purchase of premium TSM package. We've been going back and forth, back and forth on this gigantic crystal as it is really the most mysterious thing so far in World of Warcraft. We've never had this large object that is like a focal point of the entire expansion, a probably large part of the next two, but we had no idea what it actually was. Initially, when it was announced on BlizzCon, it started as people thinking this is the tip of the Sword of Sergenas, but this not only made zero sense because the sword is in cylinders, so quite a bit away, but literally the next day after BlizzCon, Blizzard confirmed that this is not the case. Now, over the next few months, we learned that it is in fact called Beladar and that it is the so-called Emperor's Vision, vision of the light-based Emperor from the other side of Azeroth. This suspiciously enough got a vision around the same time as Velen, and it might be related to Zera and her vision for Illidan as well. Now, interesting enough, these Arati guys are actually actually half Arati humans, half Quotalas Hyles, so we connected the word Belore to Beledar. Belore means the sun in the High Elven language, as you might have already heard, a new Belore de Lana, which means the eternal sun guides us. Interesting enough, the giant crystal literally functions as a giant sun inside the zone, so it made total sense they would call it Belore. However, they didn't name it Belore, they named it Beledar. This odd enough sounds exactly like another ship. Beledar, Zenedar, Genedar, Exodar. Now, before people say there are a lot of our places on Azeroth, like Durotar, Naziatar, here we are talking about Dar, which really does sound like a mix of a Naru ship and the word Belore. But why would a Naru ship have an elven name is really a good question. Well, we don't really know. It's possible they learned the true Dar name and just added the Belore to it. So it's like a weird mix at this point in time. So this naturally started a big speculation that this is indeed a giant Naru ship lodged into the very crust of Azeroth. However, then we got the collector's edition book and we got a full view of the crystal and we could see the upper portion as well and it just seemed like an almost identical crystal piercing like with the same shapes with no doors or narrow machinery so that made it very likely that this isn't in fact a narrow ship it must be something else now until this artwork we just learned about i proposed two highly likely theories either this is in fact a narrow ship but the machinery part was ejected so just the crystal part remained if you look at all the narrow ships we had previously seen, the narrow fortresses, it's essentially just a bunch of machinery around the massive crystal. So it's possible the light invaded in ancient history, or this was a pro mission and the rescue team just took the machinery and left the crystal. The other possibility is that this is one of the primordial crystals and here we are referencing Chronicle Volume 1. The reason I say this is because the book told us when the universe was born in an explosion, shards of light were flung across the universe, they stand planets, and through it, seeded life. Some seeded life, and the world souls, other shards formed into the Naru, these giant light beings, 
Now naturally this would totally make sense because the crystal is very much like a Naru but it's not quite a Naru as far as we can see. Thematically it would also make a ton of sense as through the entire World Soul Saga we're exploring what is really going on in the universe, how it was really created, the uh, big conspiracy theories, so it would make sense to find one of these primordial crystals. However, some of the artists from Blizzard just released some behind the scenes artwork and I feel like this really challenges everything we previously believed. Now, some parts are exactly the same, others are early concepts like work in progress of how they wanted to make this crystal that didn't end up making the cut. Now you could say that these are just ideas they threw at the whiteboard but you gotta keep in mind this crystal is a huge part of the story, it's very likely a key part of the entire world of saga, not just the war within, so they probably figured out the story first ages ago the idea was to just get the visual on what the crystal is actually going to look like so I think these drawings weren't just random artists thought but they were working on what they were given from the story team so the first artwork is a bit more visual, it's actually colored, it says early exploration, it leads us into the final design, however you gotta see some of the early A, B, C and D concepts and you gotta admit that these are way more narrow like than the final product that we can actually see in the game. A looks incredibly similar to the giant Naru ship from Draenor with a ring around it itself and it just gives very strong Naru vibes. Now B is incredibly similar to what we have right now but C and D are also giving really strong Naru vibes, especially C, I mean it even looks like a Naru with all the shapes and symbols. Then below that you got the numbers, then the first three are the scrapped ideas, but these look incredibly similar to the light ship we used to invade Argus back in Legion, way more similar than the final product, and as you may know, that ship is literally a light Naru ship. However, the really interesting part is the second image from the artwork bits, which I feel like might be a huge spoiler for what is going to happen, and these are not just design ideas, but these are literally completely different properties of the crystal itself than we can currently see see in the game. So here they are showing the crystal as this weird energy that has a gravitational pull, pulling the earth and the water from the ceiling and transforming into clouds. This could be a random idea from the artist, but why would the crystal do that? Were they given some bit of story information that we don't know yet or something that is about to happen? Furthermore, we got some concepts for the void mode of the crystal as well as the light mode and not only does it look like a Naru in terms of shapes, but I don't know about you, but to me, the void version in particular particular looks so much like something from Warlords of Draenor involving the Zul and all those void circles that we had previously seen. There is also the light mode that has a huge Naru light void base that is much bigger than the crystal that once again gives this exact same vibe. Like the base really looks like something engineered, not just the piercing bait that we can currently see in the game. However, the main reason why I'm even making this video in the first place is something that we had never actually seen before and that is a giant Arati church and crystal like stairs leading directly into the crystal itself, into Belidar with this door on it. So I don't even know where to start. First of all, when we look at the Priory of the Sacred Flame and where we had that Zelda cinematic, you can see there is in fact a giant window or door looking directly into the crystal with without glass, meaning something is very likely going to happen here, probably with these stairs. However, as I had already stated, these artists are not making these things up out of nowhere, they're usually given direction from the lore team on what concepts to come up with, they wouldn't create a door and a stairway into the crystal unless that is supposed to happen at some point in time, which is why I feel like this is a huge spoiler that Blizzard released themselves kind of unknowingly. Now what makes this even more interesting is that from the game itself we recently learned that when Sargera stabbed Silithus, very likely stabbing Katun in the process, he dislodged something and made the old god blood active. Now old god blood has been around the foundation of Azeroth since forever as far as we learned and from all the battles but in Legion something moved that made this blood a lot more potent, it kinda activated it. We also learned that this is exactly when the crystal first transformed from the light into the void according to the Arati that it now seems to constantly do that cycle, light void cycle. So naturally that leads us into thinking that the black blood of the old gods might have something to do with the crystal transforming 
coming into the void and it makes sense because Zalatan is obviously using the old god blood she's here because of the old god blood however this new door makes this even crazier like could a crystal itself be rotten or corrupted in the center and now we're going to actually have to go inside and fix it like this big giant shiny light narrow thing and then inside it's just old god blood and void craziness corrupting it from within it actually makes sense i feel like that might be why they drew the door and why we might have to go inside of course we can't know anything for sure yet but there must be a reason why the artist decided to create this door in the church stairway something is definitely going to happen and us going inside the crystal could be a future raid or some big part of the future content however it just makes it even more confusing as to what exactly this crystal is now with the door it makes the most amount of sense that this is in fact something not related but what exactly are we going to find inside i feel like that is going to be a big part of the war within's future Thank you for watching, check out my video on where the titans were originally immortal by clicking on the screen and check out my video on the god Perun and Slavic mythology by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time!